Hey, how you doing? This is Sejin Hito here to bring you the news. So, um, YouTube has remonetized the platform after I um, reapplied. But still, I want to let you guys know if you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the, uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Close inside a 7-Eleven store in Sacramento. Yeah, one of them can be heard using a racial slur, and the whole confrontation is caught on camera. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live outside the store with exactly what happened there. Marissa. Yeah, guys, this one was caught on camera calling that black woman a racial slur at that 7-Eleven right here just down the street. The video, though very hard to watch, shows what happens next when that woman inside fights back. She's lucky that that's all she ate. Chelsea Magdalena watches this video shared thousands of times online of a fight that broke out at her neighborhood 7-Eleven. Watching it, she says, gives her the chills. If you're instigating someone like that, you have hate in your heart. Just seeing something like that like makes me angry enough to be shaking, and I'm not a violent person. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says the fight happened Monday, but it's not clear what started the confrontation. The fight between these two women becomes more heated. An item from inside the store is thrown. The black woman says if she hears a racial slur again, the outcome would be ugly. That's when you hear the white woman use a racial slur. The white woman gets a few brutal punches to the face. The fight ends up on the floor of the store. The woman then asks the person behind the counter filming this video to call 911. Now, the video has been shared thousands of times online. Tonight, the black woman involved, who wants to remain anonymous, posted this video in response, making one thing clear. There have been a lot of speculation and rumors of my incarceration, all of which are not true. Any type of GoFundMe or financial gain account is not me and is not necessary. Yeah, just moments ago, we got off the phone with that woman. She tells us the past few days since this fight happened, have been very emotional. That was the message she wanted to share with the thousands of people here in our community who have seen her video. Once again, we did check in with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office. A report has been made about this, but no citations or arrests. All right, so I just wanted to make this quick update video because there's a lot of information going around saying that the black woman's husband is stating that she was arrested for assault, but yet you have the news right reported that no arrests have been made no charges have been filed uh then in some of the other reports you have the police also saying that no arrests have been made no suspects have been found no charges um have been filed then third you have the black woman who is the one that was supposedly in the video state that she has not been arrested or anything like that of the sort and also that any type of gofundme or anything like that is not of her and none of that is needed at all so again be very careful for a lot of these uh gofundmes and a lot of these things that people like to set up because you don't actually know who set up these funds or if these funds are going to said individual that they're supposed to be intended for you have a lot of individuals out here that will decide to capitalize on something and they'll just, you know, take people's hard earned money, uh, you know, directly from uh, those people's said goodwill. So, you know, I'm just going to also mention this. A lot of people are going to state that, oh, um, you know, if somebody just says a word to you, it's just a word. You should never allow that word to have that much, you know, power over you and different things like that. And she should be charged and all this other thing for assaulting because the white woman was wrong. But not saying that I agree, but the white woman does have the freedom of speech, no matter how wrong it is. And the white woman did not assault the black woman. So therefore, the black woman, like I said, <clears throat> all of that nonsense is unnecessary and it's white splaining. You're, you're literally saying that it's OK to be racist and that black people should not do anything um, to co to go against said racism. We should always turn the other cheek. Uh, we should never fight back. We should just allow it to happen. We should just go high when they go low.
in different things like that. Don't never let the negativity affect you. Look, I, I get tired of all of that because it gets to a certain point in time where, yeah, you know, you get used to people saying words and it might not directly hurt you or anything like that, but it gets on your nerves. Like I said, there's a difference from it actually emotionally affecting you, meaning that it's making you feel, you know, sad. It's making you lack self-confidence. It's making you question uh, who you are and the skin that you're in and different things like that versus you hearing this continuously, 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 continuously. And nobody else shuts these people up. Right. The person behind the counter, I don't even know who it was. Might might have been an Arab guy. Right. But it, it was a 7-Eleven. So it could have been Arab or white. Or in a rare can, a rare case, it could have been um, an, an African man behind the counter. But the person didn't say anything, so we don't know. The invisible man was sitting there filming, right? The next white individual that was back there was Dan <laughs> or Bob. I forgot what I named him in the video. And he was back there. He didn't tell Karen to shut up. He didn't tell her to be quiet. He didn't tell her that, yo, you don't need to say that if that's wrong. He didn't do any of that. What you saw Bob do is he did a little shuffle because he's like, you know what? Let me stop in and, and save this. I'm like, oh, hold on. Wait a minute. That black woman, she seems quite strong. She might knock me out. Let me just keep my ass back here. And that's exactly what Bob slash Dan did. And the uh, white woman received a couple of hits. Nothing that severely just knocked her to the floor, leaving her gasping for air. It's not like she received Mike Tyson like body blows or anything like that. But she got enough to the point where she was throwing in the towel. She was like, you know what? I learned my lesson. I'm sorry. You saw her at the at the end of the video. She was reaching for the black woman, just tapping her. She was like, OK, I'm good. I'm sorry. Like I said before, um, people might disagree uh, about what took place in this video. But people have to understand that there are things out here that will take place if you decide to sit up there and say certain things to black people. And this is just, you know, one of those things. Like I said, we black people have been dealing with this for such a long time that it's not affecting us in a sense on an emotional level. It, it's just more so on the fact that it's just nerve wracking. We're tired of hearing it. So it's like it's really irking people's nerves. So it's like, well, you're not going to shut up. Then I'm going to make you shut up. And then when that happens, people get that rude awakening. And they're like, you know what? Maybe I should not have said that. Maybe I should have came at this a whole different way. Better yet, I should have just came in here and do whatever it is that I needed to do and leave out the store. But obviously, this Karen didn't decide to do that. She wanted to antagonize this black woman. And the black woman gave her the benefit of the doubt. She was like, you know what? You only said it once. I'm going to let you slide right now. No matter how I feel, I'm going to let you slide. But you say that one more time, I'm going to show you something. And Karen backed up, took a few brave Karen breaths. And she sat up there and yelled out, belched out the word yet again. And it was on. Ding, ding, ding. And, and that's exactly what you saw. It was round one. It was UFC fight. It was over. Unless than 15 or 20 seconds it, it was just done but anyways let me know what you guys think about this video update in the comment description below and any other comments that you might have on the you know the previous video that i will make sure to have linked uh directly to this video just in case you did not see it so as always peace love and stay tuned for the next video